The Redemption of Babel, a devotional for the season of Lent, produced by Northside Church. Monday, April 10th, an epilogue looking toward Pentecost. At Babel, God confused the language of all the people so that they couldn't understand one another, even though they were all still speaking the same language. We've seen already that this act of confusion was something of a means of grace given by God, but it was not God's original design or plan. Fifty days after Easter, and after the resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ, we get the day of Pentecost. We call this the birth of the church, and it is one of the most important events that happens in the New Testament. On Pentecost, as the disciples were gathered together in one place, Acts tells us, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit enabled them. This caused such a commotion that it drew a crowd. Because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, Aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language? Along with the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, it is this event that truly embodies the redemption of Babel lifting the confusion of our language so that everyone can hear and understand each other through the Holy Spirit. Of all the chaos in this world that we must respond to as the redeemed people of the church, none is more ubiquitous or destructive than that which arises from not listening or hearing others, from ignoring or misunderstanding each other. Through the Holy Spirit, we have been enlightened and empowered to hear one another, A sign that redemption has come not only for Babel, but for all humanity as well. It is a sign that God is bringing us all back together through Jesus Christ. If only we will have the humility and empathy to allow the seed of the Spirit to grow within us so that we become the garden of faithfulness and unity we were originally designed to be.